Hello. Right, last bit for this second lesson. So example three says the line 4x plus b is a tangent to the curve x cubed plus x. Find the value of b. So what do we know then? So we're talking about gradients, aren't we? Well, the gradient of this line is 4. And if that line is the tangent to the curve, then I can use the fact that I know that dy by dx is 4. So if I differentiate this, I've got dy by dx is 3x squared plus 1. But I know that's equal to, so I know the gradient is 4. So if I put 3x squared plus 1 is 4, so what have I got then? 3x squared is 3, x squared is 1, x is plus or minus 1. Ooh, wow, nice one. Ah, but it tells us x is greater than 0. So I'm going to justify y and make rid of the minus. So as x is greater than 0, x is 1. Right. Now then, here's the thing to think about. If I've got my curve, my x cubed plus x, and I've got my tangent uh, there, that coordinate there, x comma y, is the same for both the tangent and the curve. So that b value I can get because I know I can find what the y value is that goes with that. So if I find the y value from the curve when x is 1, so I've got 1 cubed plus 1 is 2. So I know the coordinate is 1 comma 2, but I know that's also in the straight line. So it's also on y is 4x plus b. Does that make sense? Because where the tangent is, the coordinate's got to be the same going through it. So if I put 1 comma 2 in it, that'll give me minus 2 for b. Um, there we go. Hard lining. Um, Right, so I've got the equation of this one now, is y equals 4x minus 2. Right. So then it says, work out the triangular area trapped between this tangent and the normal to the curve at that point. Oh, so what have we got? I've got y equals 4x minus 2. So that's, that's the tangent, isn't it? Now, if it's going through the same point, and the point is, what was the point? It was 1, 2. So for my normal, uh, the gradient will be minus a quarter at 1, 2, because I've flipped it and changed the sign. So that's going to be y minus 2 is a quarter x minus 1. Right? Okay, so if you imagine you've got one line, which is 4x minus 2, so you've got like a set of axes there, so 4x minus 2 is going like that, so that's 4x minus 2. We cross over 1 comma 2, so 1 comma 2 is there, and I've got the normal going that way, 1 comma 2. Right, so for 4x minus 2, if I find, right, so I know, the, ah, I know the height, so the height of my triangle is 2, because of that there. Right, so if I find where both of these lines cross, that'll tell me how wide my triangle is. So I want to find x, go, yep, when y is 0. Does that make sense? So I've got these two lines, I need to work out where they cross the x-axis. So when x is 0, so for y equals, no, 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 y is 0, not x is 0, should I pay? Uh, x minus 2. So I've got 0, it's 4x minus 2, take the 2 over, divide by 4, I've got a half for x. So I know that that's at a half. So for the other one, um, 
So the y is zero, is zero minus two is a quarter x minus one. So if I multiply three by four, I've got minus eight is x minus one. So that's not going to work very well, is it? What have I gone wrong here? It's minus a quarter if you include that. Not plus a quarter. Yeah. Minus a quarter. That's minus one. Maybe I shouldn't have done all the recording on Wednesday afternoon. If I multiply three by minus four, that's better. I get eight is x minus one, so I get nine for x. So I know where we cross. So I, so I know the height, because that's the y value. So I know the height is 2, and the width will be 9 take a half, which is 8.5, which is 17 over 2. So my area is a half base times height, which gives me 17 over 2 units squared. Let's just double check we're okay with this one before stopping. So we had an equation of a tangent, which was 4x minus 2. I found that it crossed the x-axis at a half. I found the equation of the normal. So if I knew the gradient was 4, I know the gradient is minus a quarter. So I've got the equation y minus 2 is minus a quarter x minus 1. And then I found out by putting y equals 0, and it crossed at 9. So that told me that it was 8.5 wide, or 17 over 2. And I knew the height was 2, so I could just do half base times height. Oof, I'm done for the day. And I've just broken that. That's not good, is it? Right, see, oh, I've really broken that. Right, see you later, everybody. I'm going to go. Bye.